Virtually all rural homes in Uganda depend entirely on wood fuel for their cooking needs. In most urban areas, the use of charcoal for cooking is the standard, although there are homes where the two are interchanged. However, this traditional and crude method of cooking using the three-stone stove is inefficient. It uses up a lot of fuel wood and releases a lot of smoke and other gases in the process. This smoke contains methane and other greenhouse gases that escape into the atmosphere. Uh, and the, well, in scientific language, really, what we call smoke when you are burning firewood is actually the gases which you should be using for cooking. So each time you see smoke coming out of your kitchen, you know that half of your firewood is half of your energy, half of your firewood is being lost in smoke. However, smokeless stoves and wood conserving stoves have become popular in several parts of Bushenyi. They are designed to reduce the impact of smoke emitted from open fires inside dwellings. For example, the Lorena rocket stove has done a lot to change the lives of this community in Ishaka town in Bushenyi district. It is an efficient stove that consumes a very little wood and is designed in such to emit as little smoke as possible. This stove is simple in design and is manufactured by the community themselves using locally available materials. All that is required is soil, sawdust, or green grass. But the soil must either be red soil or clay soil. Uh, well, you, you know, you don't want soil which has got a lot of humus in it because that will, when you, when you burn, actually the whole soil will burn. So you want the red soil which is already hardened and when it dries, it, it actually, um, it, it, it hardens. Like the soil you normally use for bricks. The ingredients are then mixed with water, which acts as a holding agent. The grass is important. When the stove is ready for use and fed for the first time, it burns up and leaves behind air pockets, which help to retain the heat. This addition which we put in, when the grass is mixed with the soil, you have about five uh, inches, uh, five centimeters of um, of the, of, the, of, of the mixture with the grass. The grass, the dry grass you use there actually gets burnt. So when it gets burnt and the soot falls out after on, on the third or fourth day, uh, then you have got uh, holes. And these holes act as air pockets. Now air is a very, a very, very bad, uh, is a very, very bad conductor of, of heat. But it is also a very good insulator. During the construction, banana stems are used to mold the intake for firewood and the internal chambers of the stove, as well as the outlet for the chimney. But measurements have to be exact, 13 centimeters in diameter. First, the outline of the foundation is laid out for the stove. Then the soil and grass mixture is slapped around the banana stems to give it its shape. The construction is permanent and the suspens to be used have to fit perfectly in the space for cooking. This requires identifying the pans to be used and their holes carefully shaped out into the stove. Around the saucepan, about two, uh, about one, one to two millimeters hole so that the, the heat can cook the bottom of the saucepan and it cooks all around the saucepan. So you have a bigger, a much bigger surface area exposed to the heat, which means your, your, your food cooks almost three times faster than the person who is still using a traditional three, three stone stove. Once the construction is over, the stove is left too dry for three days before it can be fully used. The Lorena rocket stove is clean and smoke free. Unlike the traditional three-stone stove, it uses only one piece of wood to do the cooking all day. Its design is in such a way that this piece of wood undergoes perfect combustion 
because of the air circulation burning entirely. Besides the air pockets and the structure of the stove, help it to retain heat, requiring less fire to cook and cooking faster and longer. The, the, the retaining of it, first of all, there is the charcoal which, uh, uh, which, is, uh, which, is, which is left there. That burns very, very, very slowly. Uh, because of the 100% uh, combustion almost, uh, you find that even the charcoal which is left there may stays there for long. Uh, but also, uh, again, the heat is just maintained uh, within, within the stove itself. The other options to reduce the amount of fuel for a family is simply to use a cooking lid while cooking, which itself reduces fuel consumption by 40%. Many people in communities like this depend mainly on firewood as their main source for cooking. But with the introduction of new technologies like this, they have had to cut down their firewood consumption by about 70%. However, the challenge is that during the rainy seasons or during the cold seasons, they go back to their three stove traditional ways of cooking because they do supply lots of heat in their kitchens. Because it's a very efficient stove, very many families in Bushenyi have switched to the Lorena stove. Unlike the traditional three stone stove, which cooks one meal at a time, this stove can cook two meals at the same time. Because with that kind of uh, uh, insulation, it means that uh, where the traditional stove, the three stone, you, all your heat, you would spend my, most of your heat uh, cooking the, the soil, the, the soil, the, the soil, the ground. Then you spend heat, uh, all your heat escapes and cooks the walls and the whole kitchen is hot. Even the person who is cooking himself gets cooked. The benefits to the community are multi-pronged, including a reduction of deforestation and erosion and emission of deadly greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Craig Kadoda, NTV, Ecotalk.